Okay, salam alaikum. So this is our part two for image contrast enhancements. And in the last lecture, we were talking about image enhancements, and we started talking about the contrast enhancements in details. So in order to understand the contrast enhancement, we must first understand what do we mean by histogram processing and what's a histogram. So let R of K for k is equal to 1 up to l minus 1 so r of k is basically our intensity at a certain pixel denote the intensity of the l level of an image x y f of x y so at the pixel x uh, y we have an intensity r k the unnormalized histogram of f is defined as h of r k is equal to n of k where n of k is the number of pixels in f having an intensity R K. So if my image, if my image is, if my image is having, uh, if I have this image which is having the values three, two, one, two, three, one, three, three, and I want to find the histogram of this image. The histogram of this image will be. This is. 0, 1, sorry, this one should be 1, 0, oops, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, it's a 3-bit image, so the histogram will be looking something like this. Do you have any values at 0? No. It is 0 at 0. I have values at 1. Yes. How many values? Here is 1. Here is 2. And up here to 3. Let's see. 2. Okay. So how many values at 1? It is 2 values at 1. How many values of 2? Two? 2 values of 2. How many values of 3? 4 values of 3. It will appear something like here. 0 values for 4, 0 values for 5, 0 values for 6, 0 values for 7. So this is my histogram for an unnormalized image. What do you mean unnormalized? If you see this image, this image will have all the values between 0, 1, 2, and 3. The values 4, 5, and 6 are zeros. So if you look at or think about this image, this image is basically a dark image because all my values, all my values are somewhere between these three or four points. So in order to uh, process the histogram, we need to spread this histogram across the whole values so to get better contrast for the image. So similarly, the normalized histogram is defined as P R of K, where is the P is the probability of R of K for R H R of K divided by M N, where M and N are the um, where M and M is the number of uh, pixels per rows and columns. What do you mean by normalized? Normalized value means your histogram will now be between 0 and 1. This is what we mean by normalization. So if I want to do this one, I will have how many pixels? I have uh, M is equal a uh, number of rows is M, which is one row, number of columns is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I will have 8 columns, so multiply 1 by 8 is 8. So I will have to divide the values 1 over 8, 2 over 8, 4 over 8, and zeros. So this will be my normalized histogram. Normalized histogram. Normalization means to make our values between 0 and 1. So mostly we work with normalized histograms, which we refer as simply as histograms of an image. So assume, or sorry, the sum of PR of K should be equal always to one. The sum of PR of K is equal to one. So this is an example of some histograms. This is an image of, oh, and this is a dark image, and you can see that the histogram is located in the dark area, remember, when you are near to zero, this is dark, and this is light. Again, I'm talking about this image. Okay, so here it's dark, 
here it is light here it is low contrast low contrast means you see all your values fall over here and this is high contrast image where we spread the full is the fill histogram across all values and you can see we have a best result over here where the image is not dark not low and not low contrast not dark not light and not low contrast so histogram equalization is basically the process of equalizing your histogram making the histogram spread in a good way across the spectrum in order to get better results when it comes to images so assume initially a continuous intensity value we uh, let the variable r denote the intensities of an image process as usual we assume that r is in the range of 0 to l minus 1 r equal to 0 is black r equal to l minus 1 is white nothing changed here so s will equal to t or the transformation of r again once more r is greater than 0 less than or equal to uh, l minus 1 so uh, this produce the intensity of the new intensity value for s for any given intensity of r assuming that t of r is monotonic increasing function and tr the transformation of r is always greater than 0 less than l minus 1 for any value of r meaning the transformation function will not exceed the original function and as for increasing mon monotonic increasing monotonic function your values as you will move from right to left is always increasing okay your values as you move from right to left are always increasing you don't have values or your function is not something like this because here you are increasing and here you are decreasing this is not a monotonic function you should have your function as a monotonic function so this is the basic idea so the, the intensity of an image may be viewed as a random variable with the intervals from 0 to l minus 1 pr is the probability of r and ps is the probability of s denotes the probability density functions of the intensity value r and s for two different images so the probability of the occurrence of an intensity level r of k in an image is approximated as this so the probability of r of k is equal to n of k <coughs> once more n of k is the number of pixels that have the intensity r of k n of k is the number of pixels that have the intensity r of k of course at the end it is all divided by m multiplied by n where m multiplied by n is the size of your image m is the number of rows n is the number of columns so p r of k refers to the normalized histogram image the normalized histogram image so the discrete form of the transformation because this is an integration the discrete form will be a summation so s of k is equal to the transformation of r of k which is equal to l minus 1 l minus 1 sigma from j equal to 0 up to k probability of pr of rj for all values of k from 0 up to l minus 1 so we sum the values multiply them by l minus 1 to get our transformation which we are going to see later on so for example suppose that we have a 3-bit image which is l is equal to 8 so we have our values from r0 up to r7 this is our image this is our pixel numbers okay these are the number of pixels having an intensity of 0 this is the number of pixels n of k at r of k n of k at r2 of k n of k at r3 of k and so on so we have a 64 by 64 pixels image that means m multiplied by n is 4096 it has an intensity distribution which is shown in this table okay 
where the intensity levels are integers in the range from 0 to L minus 1, which is 0 to 7. The histogram of the image is sketched in the next slide. We are going to go to the, the histogram. So the values of the histogram equalization transformation functions are obtained from the equation. So for S is equal to 0, we are going to say 7, which is L minus 1, multiplied by sigma from J equal to 0 up to 0 for the probability of R, R0 of, sorry, R0, uh, probability of R0, which is equal to the probability of R0, which is 0.19. So we have 7 multiplied by 7, multi uh, sorry, 7 multiplied by uh, 0.19, which will equal to 1.19. Three. Same idea, we are going to find all the values of S. The next part, this is our histogram by the way, R of K from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. We mapped these values. This is point, uh, 0.19 from here. 0.19, 0.25, 0.1, 0.21, 0.19, 0.25, 0.21, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.25, 0.
than the histogram over there. So the example is over here, it's quite clear. You can go through the example and if you have questions, we can easily go through all of this during our class. Thank you for watching.